Let's finish off the question in this video. So we want to find out the power of this test, meaning we want to find out what is the probability of rejecting this null hypothesis given that the true mean is going to be 1100 liters. So let's zoom out and do so. Over here, zoom out, make some space, go below. So we want to know, let me go over here like that, what is, what is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis, reject the null hypothesis, given that the true mean is equal to 1100 liters. So when do we reject the null hypothesis? We reject it when the sample mean that we find is greater than this number. So what's the probability of finding such a value greater than x bar must be greater than 1000? 261.33 given that the true population mean is 1100 well since we're dealing with probability we're gonna standardize this x bar into a z value so we want to convert x bar into our z score which is gonna be greater than or equal to the difference between the sample mean and the population mean so we want to know by how many standard errors is the sample mean that we want to find far away from the true population mean of our data so the difference between 1,261.33, uh, how far is it from the true population mean of 1,100 in terms of standard errors? And the standard errors is just the ratio between the standard deviation of 400 over square root of n. So what, P, what z value do we get from here? What well, is going to be the probability that the z score is greater than is greater than or equal to 1.21, 1.21. Now recall, in the z distribution, they show us numbers when it is less than or equal to a number. So we're gonna use the symmetry of the z distribution and we know that this is equal to the probability that the z score is less than or equal to minus 1.21 and that's gonna be equal to, that's gonna be equal to 0 0.1131. So that probability by looking at the table is gonna be 0. 1, 1, 3, 1. That's one part of the answer with the same logic. We have a look here. What is the probability? So we're going to find right now. What is the probability of finding the sample mean less than 738.67 given that the true population mean is equal to 1100 liters? Now, again, we're dealing with probabilities, meaning again, we're going to standardize this sample mean into a Z score. So what's the probability of having the Z value less than or equal to the standardized version of this and how do we standardize again we want to know by how many standard errors literally this sample mean differs from the true population mean differs from 1100 so we divide this by the standard errors which is 400 over square root of 9 now if we solve the math we're getting a p value or a, uh, better said a probability that z is less than or equal to minus 2.71 this is already a value less than a number, so it's given in the distribution directly. That probability is equal to 0 0.0034. So we found one more piece. Now the entire probability, the entire power is the sum of these two probabilities that we just found. So we do one more math over here, one more step, so to speak, 0 0.0034 plus 0 0.0, sorry, plus 0 0.1131 from from this one, 0 0.1131. Now, if we add them up, what do we get as a result? Well, we're going to have 0 0.0.1165. They, they, they tell us to round it, so we're gonna round it to two numbers, meaning this one, 16, rounds up to two, so we're gonna have 0 0.12. And I think that's the answer that they give us. Let's have a check. We go up and to the left over here. That power of the test is going to be 0 0.12. The answer is true and we are done.